any artist who lives or has a studio in Somerville is invited to participate in the Somerville Open Studios taking place in 2020 from May 1st through 3rd. Registration is open now through January 31st, and you should go to somervilleopenstudios.org to register. Financial aid is available, and the financial aid deadline is January 10th. You want to email membership at somervilleopenstudios.org for more info. Every Wednesday, The Jungle hosts an open mic hosted by the local R&B and soul artist, Eva Davenport. This free 21 plus event happens every Wednesday from 7 to 9.30, and more info is at thejunglemusicclub.com. Did you know that Artisans Asylum holds a free cosplay workshop every second and fourth Thursdays? Do you want to wear a costume to convention? Maybe you have a costume that needs some work. Or you have questions about prop building, Eva foam construction, or costuming. And you should go to their free cosplay workshop and work on your projects with experienced builders and costumers. Maybe you're into fiber art instead, in which case you should go to the free fiber arts work night every second Thursday of the month from 6 to 8. This one night of the month, you can use their fiber arts equipment, machine, and space, and you, this is all for free. You can learn knit and crochet, get yourself skilled in un traditional and unconventional methods, speak to costumers, quilters, crafters, or just bring your own projects to work on in the company of like-minded makers. For more information, go to artisansasylum.com. Are you more of a poet and you know it? Then you should participate in First and Last Word Poetry every third Tuesday at Arts at the Armory Cafe, hosted by Harris Gardner and Gloria Mindock. The next event takes place January 21st at 7.30. Doors are open at 6.30. Different poets are featured each time, and you can have a chance to read your own work during the open mic section at the end. Tickets are $4, and more info is at artsatthearmory.org. Lady Boss Productions presents Show and Tell, a sort of open mic on January 5th from 12.30 to 3.30. A Sunday fun day filled with a variety of performances by local poets, musicians, dancers, comedians, and more. Hosted in the extremely cozy Cafe at the Arts at the Armory, this event celebrates live performance art in all its forms and stages by welcoming an interdisciplinary cast of makers to share in works in progress. More info is at Lady Boss, that's B-O-S, Lady Boss Productions.com. Getting Cozy was so popular last winter that the Somerville Public Library is bringing it back for another year. They'll be bringing back this inspired program all winter long to keep you feeling cozy and happy during the darkest, coldest time of the year, and they will provide materials for a new craft project each month. If you prefer to work on something that you've already started, everyone is welcome to bring their own crafting projects to work while chatting and sipping cocoa. Supplies will be provided at no cost to attendees. This program is free and open to the public, and it's wheelchair accessible. Warm socks and knit hats are encouraged, but not required. The library loves kids crap, but this program is meant for adults only, and more information about it is at somervillepubliclibrary.org. The first Bike Talk Social Hour of 2020 is happening Wednesday, January 8th. The Somerville Bicycle Committee hosts a bike talk each month at Aeronaut Brewing Company. January's talk will feature a bike advocate extraordinaire named John Ramos, and he will talk all about the awesome annual fundraising, fundraising bike ride, Boss Trial, which benefits the Boston Cyclist Union. The ride begins in Boston and ends in Montreal. John will likely convince you to sign up for the ride, so come prepared to listen and likely to commit. More information is at somervillebikes.org. Somerville Media Center, that's us, presents the 19th Rough Cut Media Screening at Arts at the Armory Cafe on Wednesday, January 15th from 7 to 8.30. This is a safe space for people or groups working on media projects, i.e. short films, experimental, podcasts, TV shows, promotional videos, trailers, to present their work to a group for constructive feedback. Filmmakers can submit a short video beforehand, but note that due to time constraints, only up to five minutes can be screened, and you should sign up at somervillemedia.org. Level up in January with some workshops here at Somerville Media Center, such as the popular Accessible Documentary Production, an introductory workshop led by filmmaker and Emerson instructor Colleen Kelly Poland, and that'll take place Saturday, January 11th from 9 to 4 here at SMC. 
The rates range from $75 to $125. You can also sign up for Podcasting for Beginners, which takes place over two Mondays, January 6th and 13th from 7 to 9 p.m., led by Boston Free Radio Manager and podcaster Heather McCormick. Rates are $75 and $125. And you should also look out for a class on chroma key and green screen on January 28th. More details about that and sign up for any and all of them at somervillemedia.org. The short film, From My Heart to Yours, is the result of a collaboration between the City of Somerville's Health and Human Services Department and Somerville Media Center. The film provides an intimate look at how the availability and use of opioids have impacted the lives of many individuals, especially here locally. Somerville's Prevention Services Manager, Matthew Mitchell, says, the film offers an opportunity for folks to see how the city of Somerville is working to stamp, stamp out stigma and support individuals in recovery, as well as their families and their friends and the community as a whole. There will be four free screenings of the film over the next four months, and the first of these will be Thursday, January 16th at 6.30 at Massachusetts Re Organization for Addiction Recovery at 9 New Washington Street. The February screening will be February 6th at 5 p.m. at the Council on Aging at 167 Holland Street. Additional information can be found at the Health and Human Services website or at somervillemediacenter.org. The Climate Forward Ambassadors will be leading a zine-making activity to highlight climate action on Sunday, January 19th from 2 to 4. Materials will be provided for the zine-making project. If you'd rather work on your own craft, feel free to bring it while you chat away with other participants about climate change and what you can do about that. Climate Forward Ambassadors are Somerville residents who have joined together to learn about and take action on climate change. This event is free, open to the public, and wheelchair accessible. Walls Turn Sideways, Artists Confront the Justice System is an exhibition at the Tufts University Tisch Family and Koppelman Galleries, and it's a comprehensive look at how contemporary artists over the past 40 years have created work related to the criminal justice system. Representing a range of contemporary art made both in studio and in the social realm, Walls Turn Sideways includes artworks focused on social justice issues and that position the prison and court systems as structures for dismantling through institutional critique. Walls Turn Sideways, Artists Confront the Justice System is on view January 23rd through April 19th with an opening reception and artist talk on the 23rd from 6 to 8 p.m. More information is available at artgalleries.tufts.edu. The annual Punk Rock Aerobics is back this January to raise funds for Girls Rock Campaign Boston. Get in shape in the new year with Girls Rock Campaign Boston as their organizers have resurrected the workout that was created back in 2000. Punk Rock Aerobics, one of Boston's claims to fame, is holding a 20-year anniversary class at once on Saturday, January 25th from noon to 2.30. Punk Rock Aerobics has been in Rolling Stone, Newsweek, MTV, VH1, Newsweek, all of them referring to Punk Rock Aerobics as a blockbuster fitness craze. Rock the nostalgia and sweat to the oldies. More info and tickets are at girlsrockboston.org. Head to Aeronaut for a Sunday afternoon full of live art on Sunday, January 26th from 3 to 6 at Art Battle Boston. Watch the paint fly before your eyes and help vote to determine the winner as artists battle the clock and each other in three fast-paced rounds. All artwork will also be available for auction during this incredible day of community and creation. Be a part of the fun as a spectator or participate as one of the featured artists. More information is at artbattle.com. This month, the East Somerville Board Game Night takes place on Monday, January 27th from 6.30 to 10.30 at Vinnie's at Night at 76 Broadway. From beginner to advanced, games and gamers of all types are welcome. Meet new people, taste some delicious food and drink, and have a blast playing with old friends and new. Just bring a positive attitude. More information is at eastsomervillemainstreets.org.